The last type of encoder that we have to complete in this particular course is hexadecimal to binary encoder. Now you already know that in case of hexadecimal number system the base or radix r is equal to 16 which means there are in total 16 distinct digits in case of hexadecimal number system and they are from 0 to f okay 15 is written as f in hexadecimal number system and uh, if you are in this encoders definitely you have already studied about the number system and you know that 10 is written as A, 11 as B, 12 as C, 13 as D, 14 as E and 15 as F in case of hexadecimal number system. Now it is very clear to you that 16 is the number of input. If I talk about the number of input for our encoder, this is our encoder, N is equal to 16 and I will put it equal to 2 to the power M. So M is equal to log having base 2 16 it can be written as log base 2 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 4 so there are 4 outputs okay because m is your output and the 4 outputs is the bits from b0 to b3 and we require 4 bits to represent a single hexadecimal number for example in encoder if I say 5 is high and rest of the inputs are low then B0 will be 1 0 1 0 you can see here 5 1 0 1 0 similarly for the other inputs if they are high so let's find out the values for the bits B0 B1 B2 B3 let's first see for B0 and uh, let's see for what case it is high it is high for the input 1 3 5 or you can say that for all the odd for all the odd you can see 7 9 this is your 11 for all the odd inputs b0 is high so I will write let's change the color 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9 or 11 13 15 and I will write 11 as B 13 as D 15 as F okay let's see for B1 and uh, B1 is high for 2 3 let's write it down 2 or 3 then 6 7 so 6 or 7 then a b a or b and finally for e f so or e or f okay now we are left with two bits b2 and b3 so finding out for b2 and b3 is a task for you you do it by yourself i'm not going to do it because it's a very very simple thing so you will find b2 and b3 you can do it as your homework let's say okay now it's time for implementation once you are done with b2 and b3 and i have already calculated the value for b0 and b1 you can implement the circuit i'm just going to show you the circuit so let me paste it down I have already cut the circuit from the book and uh, you can see here these are the hexadecimal inputs from 0 to F and these are the four boolean outputs B0, B1, B2 and B3 so check your answer check your circuit and this is all for the hexadecimal to binary encoder